This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. Hi there, I'm uh, Tim Wellbanks, Agronomy Lead. Uh, I'm uh, standing in front of a uh, plot of LFG 8755R, which is a leafy silage hybrid. So a couple of things are going on here. Uh, LFG 8755R is a hybrid that has the opaque one or flowery gene in it. So 25% of the kernels are, uh, will have the ability to have 100% complete white soft starch in the kernels. The other 75 will have uh, some uh, vitreous hard starch. Um, so the reason uh, I'm also standing here is uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, corn maturity. So in the, on this particular hybrid, which is a silage hybrid, the milk line is just starting to form. We're at uh, basically the hard dent stage. You can see those little indentations. The milk line is starting to form. So we're just uh, maybe, uh, uh, it's at a, maybe a third milk line. It's getting close to the maturity that where it's suitable for harvest. So one thing about the leafies, uh, they have uh, 10 to 11 leaves above the ear. So the number of leaves above the ear dictate the number of leaves around the, uh, the uh, ear itself. So uh, gra standard grain corn has uh, five to six uh, leaves. Leafy has a lot more. So that's why the grain and the ear dries uh, uh, a little bit slower. And that's why you have a wider window of harvest when, uh, when you grow a, a specific leafy silage corn. I'm going to switch gears here. We've had some questions from growers here at the uh, farm show today. Um, is my corn going to make it? What's the, what's the stage of maturity? How's it coming? So I've uh, selected a full season grain corn hybrid uh, uh, in the plots here at the outdoor farm show. This particular hybrid is a 3150 heat unit hybrid, but one of its characteristics is that it flowers early and sets up grain early. So uh, you can see here that it's uh, at a nice dense stage. Uh, again, uh, the milk line is just forming nicely. It's about a third of the way down the corn kernel. So uh, uh, we've got uh, pretty rapid, it's in its uh, rapid grain fill stage. It's trying to translocate sugars out of the stock and uh, get those sugars converted to starch in the corn kernels. Uh, so just to give you an idea, uh, it's the, about the 10th of September today. If we have a, a reasonable weather, normal average weather till the end of September, then this hybrid should be pretty close to uh, uh, reaching physiological maturity uh, by the first week of October on, uh, in a natural uh, growth stage. Um, so, so this crop here in Woodstock is, is pretty close to making it. Uh, it won't be early, but uh, we think we have a good shot at uh, making some good quality uh, grain corn. Some of the, the uh, shorter season areas, um, you know, if you've got the right hybrid for the maturity, I think you're okay. If you're if you uh, overextended your uh, heat unit selection for the area, um, you know you're going to need uh, <clears throat> right till the end of September, first week week of October, to get that uh, hybrid mature. Another key with hybrid maturity is uh, timely planting. So uh, this this plot here was planted May the seventh. Um, you know, corn that was planted towards the uh, end of May. Um, it, is a, it is at a later stage of maturity and could be uh, in a little bit of an issue to make um, quality grain. So uh, it, it will make grain. Uh, test weight may be a little lower just because of uh, it's just going to run out of uh, heat units and seasons. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.